YouTube, what's up? It is the Anonymous Sneakerhead. I am back with another video for you guys. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Do not forget that at 100 subscribers, I will be doing a $100 Foot Locker gift card giveaway. So let's hurry up and get to 100 subscribers so I can give you guys that gift card. Now that all of that's out of the way, let's get into today's video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say, give you guys a huge thank you for um, just the response to my video uh, a little more than a week ago now on the Nike Air Force One, Nike Times Uninterrupted Air Force One more than. Um, that video has gotten over a thousand views. I think it's somewhere in the 1700s right now. Um, and we've also gained 21 new subscribers um, from that video. So. I appreciate you guys. We're almost there. As of me making this video, we're at 87 subscribers, so we're 13 subscribers away from the giveaway. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I just wanted to get that out the way before I started this. But yeah, guys, so this video, you guys saw the thumbnail, you see the title. It's something a little new, something I'm trying out, and it's gonna be, I don't wanna say like the November release calendar as much as it is my november release calendar and what i mean by that is there's a lot of shoes that are coming out in the month of november that i am personally excited to get for different reasons so now that i told you guys what i'm doing this why i'm doing this i'm gonna start off the video and um yeah so the first shoe that i have on this list so the first couple shoes actually are not in november it's gonna finish off the last um what is it the last five days six days of october so the first one that is up there is the shattered backboard 3.0 yes i know it is sunday um the shoe came out yesterday i was not able to get it if i was i would enter the foot locker raffle for it if i did get it i'd be doing a review on it right now but that's a shoe that came out i was interested in not really for myself but for just resale value i know it's a shoe that a lot of people wanted obviously is it sold out really quick on the sneakers app and in foot locker but the, the reason why I wanted to start with that shoe is because there's going to be an ongoing theme in this video of Air Force Ones. I meant Air Jordan Ones. Whoa. Another shoe in October that I'm really excited about, it comes out um, the 29th of October. It's something kind of new. You can see it right here. It is the FPAR times Nike SB High. Um, it looks like Nike SBs are trying to make a comeback, so I think it's awesome. But if you look at this particular SB and you look at um, specifically the tongue speaking, it's a Nike SB, but it has, weirdly enough, a Jordan 6 resembling tongue. It has the two windows at the top of the tongue, that same lace lock that you see on your Jordan 6s, and it comes with that little, um, I'm not even sure what to call it, the little pinch, you know what I'm talking about. Hold up. <laughs> it comes with um, this thing that's on Jordan 5s and Jordan 6s. It has one of those on there, but it says Nike on it. Um, I think that's dope. It's something I'm excited for. Um, if I could get my hands on it, I definitely will do a review on it for you guys, um, but we'll see. Before I get back to the Air Force Ones, I just want to figure finish off the last two shoes that I had in here for the month of October, and that is the Air Jordan 12 Taxi 12, Reverse Taxi 12, sorry. Um, this shoe is interesting to me. Uh, they're calling it a Reverse Taxi 12. I don't know if they should even attach the taxi name to it just because to me, a reverse taxi 12, it would have the black upper, but the mud guard would be white as well with the midsole. To me, this looks too much like, um, I don't even want to say a playoff 12, I guess. I had the neoprene or the nylon 12s, whatever you want to call those. It looks more like that, just in a different material. So I know I said all of these shoes on here are shoes I got, either I want or I want to flip, but I just wanted to talk about that shoe. I think it's kind of ridiculous. I don't think, um, not that I think it's a ridiculous shoe, but I don't think it's gonna sell. I think it'll sit. So if you're gonna sleep on the shoe, sleep on it. 12s in general, for whatever reason, it's my favorite so what, but for whatever reason, 12s in general tend to sit longer than other 12s. But I just wanted to mention that one. I thought it was a weird release. I don't I understand why they're calling it a reverse taxi, but I don't think it resembles the taxi enough to be called the reverse taxi um and then to finish off the month of october also coming out on halloween october 31st is this really dope um nike sb it is called the night of mischief nike sb i'm really excited about this just because i think that there's a gonna be a resurgence um if you will of the sb line i mean we saw 
what SB came out not that long ago, the Supreme SBs, and people were pretty excited over those. I mentioned earlier in the video, we got the FPAR SBs, which are really interesting. So people, I think people are gonna be really excited over those, and then we're getting these that come out on Halloween. So it looks like SBs are trying to make their way back um, into, I guess, sneaker culture um, with these two releases at the end of October, and hopefully more to come. So now, moving on from October, like I said, this is gonna be a Jordan 1 heavy video, which is crazy for me, because I'm not the hugest, the biggest Jordan 1 fan in the world. I know it's it's crazy not to be a Jordan 1 fan, but it is what it is. Um, and that is starting November 2nd with the blue and red Fearless Air Jordan 1. This is a shoe that everybody's really excited about. I'm not sure um, how limited the release is gonna be, um, like I said, me personally, I'm not a huge Air Jordan 1 fan, so this is a shoe that I'm definitely looking to get and flip. Um, regardless of how general the release is, just because of the dual colors of it, the blue and the red, and the fact that it is a high Air Jordan 1, I think it's definitely going to sell out. And I think the resale prices are definitely going to be high. I know it's a shoe that a lot of people are excited for. Um, at the end of the day, there's nothing really to hate on the shoe, as you guys can see. It looks dope. It's just, for me, for how, for how I like to rock my shoes, it's just not something that I would wear. Moving on, just to finish off this, um, the Air Jordan 1 theme that I have going on, the whole Air Jordan 1 Fearless pack. The next one, this is to me the, the least, probably the least hyped up of all of the Air Jordan 1 Fearless shoes coming out in this pack. And that is the, I think it's Blue the Great Times Air Jordan 1 Fearless. It has all these, it reminds me almost of a Viotech or a Viotech, however you like to say it. They just came out with the Air Max 90s. Um, earlier in the year, the original Viotech was the SB. Um, it just reminds me of those with the color blocking and the loud mix match colors and it's a suede shoe. Um, do I think it'll sell out? Yes. I don't think that there's gonna be too much resale value in it. It's not a shoe that I will be picking up to wear or to resell, but it is something that's interesting just because it goes along with that Air Jordan 1 Fearless pack that I mentioned earlier. And then just to finish off this Fearless pack for me, I mean, I know we're getting later into November already, but here on November 15th, we are supposed to get what is to me the coolest shoe of the Fearless pack, and that is the Melody Asani Air Jordan 1. And as you can see, it comes in kind of a what the colorway with two different colors, but the statement piece of this shoe to me is that at the bottom of the laces on both shoes, it has a gold watch face on it almost something like a rolex watch face it has the two three on it um and then it has if you knew what does it say if you knew what you had is valuable um if you knew what you had is rare something i forgot exactly what it says on the midsole of the shoe but anytime you get an air jordan one with anything that looks like it's handwritten on the midsole and then you got all these accessories attached like i said the two watches it's gonna sell out fast with a blink of an eye and it's gonna resell for a lot of money hopefully if I could get, if everything goes to plan and I could get my hands on the red and blue fearlesses and maybe something else to resell, um, I'll grab these and keep a pair of them for myself. If I can't get my hands on those because they sell out and I don't win the draws, then I'm going to try for the Melody Asanis as a shoe that I will be reselling. But hopefully everything works out and it'll be a shoe that I could keep and put it in my collection. It's something that I'd be really excited to have in my collection. Now that I'm done with all the Air Jordan ones, there are a couple other shoes um, coming out in the month of November that I'm pretty excited about that have been announced already starting on November 2nd That is the we're supposed to be getting the shattered backboard Foam posit now the foam posit is a shoe that Used to be like I said with the SBs it used to be a staple in sneakers culture and has recently fallen off to me The reason why they fell off is right around the weatherman era when they started putting all these freaky patterns on the foams, but based off of what we've been told and the leaked pictures we got the shattered backboard foam looks like it's going to be almost like the stealth foam just the all black upper with the orange midsole and the outsole so that'll look dope it's a nice clean look um i like the color orange and it's just a small hit of orange so the color blocking on that shoe works really well so i'm excited for that one to come out and get it in hand it'll probably sit so you could probably sleep on it it's a foam posit like i said they don't for whatever reason they don't sell out anymore like they used to but for me, I've always been a big foam posit guy and I'm really excited to get this shattered backboard foam in hand. And then I usually don't like to talk about only women's releases in my videos just because I have a bigger foot so I can't wear very many women's shoes. But there's one that I am really, really, really upset that it's only in women's sizes. Hopefully they make it in big women's sizes 
so I can still get it. But that is the Olivia Kim Air Jordan 4. It looks basically like a black cat Jordan 4, but it's like hairy, like it, I think they call it pony hair or whatever. It has really, really long hair on it. There's a picture of it. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, man, I just wish it was something I could get in my size. And uh, hopefully they make it, like I said, in men's sizes. Hopefully it's something um, that I will be able to find in a, in a big woman's size. Or if not, I'll probably still get it just to resell it because I know that there's a lot of people that feel the same way I do about this shoe and it is really excited for this to come out. The last shoe on this list that I have for, like I said, the shoes that are coming out in the month of November that I'm really excited for um, is the, once again, it's another Air Jordan 1, but it's not a part of the Fearless pack, but it is the Who Says Man Cannot Fly Air Jordan 1. This is a shoe that I don't think will be too hyped. I don't think it, it might sell out because it's an Air Jordan 1 in the Chicago colorway and a red, black, and white colorway. But I really like how the red outlines the black panels of the shoe. So it's something for me I'm really excited about. It's something new. Um, it'll be a nice Air Jordan 1 to add to my collection. Like I said, I'm not a huge Jordan 1 fan. I'll say that till I die. But this one particularly, for whatever reason, does catch my eye. And I think it is something that I could wear, add to my wardrobe, and put in the collection and in the rotation of shoes that I wear on a regular basis. So... That's it for this video today, guys. Yes, I know I skipped the Island Green 5 and the Island Green 13, and there's two 34s coming out this month. Um, like I said, this video is, is is about the shoes that I personally find interesting, what, just so you guys could kind of know what to expect for potential upcoming videos of mine in the month of November. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you again for watching. Thank you guys for showing all the love that you did on the last video. See if you guys can show the same amount of love on this one. We are 13 followers away from the 100 mark. Sorry, 13 subscribers away from the 100 mark. When we get to that mark, there will be a giveaway to follow with the Foot Locker gift card, $100 Foot Locker gift card. So please hit that subscribe button, share the video, tell your friends to subscribe. Follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead, and I will see you guys at the next one.